the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video on using XLOOKUP in Google Sheets. Now, if you've been using Excel for a while, then you're probably familiar with the reasonably new function called XLOOKUP that's available in Microsoft 365. Even if you're not familiar with that, you're probably familiar with functions such as VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, maybe even INDEX and MATCH in order to perform lookups in tables of data. Now, even if you're not particularly familiar with XLOOKUP, you might have heard of VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, or maybe even INDEX and MATCH. And what all of these formulas or functions do is that they allow you to look up a piece of information in a table and return a value from a different column. Now, I've started out talking about Excel, but this tutorial video is really for people who use Google Sheets. Because what you'll find is that XLOOKUP is currently, at the time of recording this video, not available in Google Sheets. So basically what I want to do here is just show you some alternatives that you have if you are a Google Sheets user when it comes to performing different types of lookup on your data. And to start out, I just want to show you how XLOOKUP works in Excel before we then go across to Google Sheets and attempt to recreate it. Now, just to make this a more even comparison, I'm actually logged into Excel online. So I'm not using the full desktop version. This is the web version that I'm using. And if you take a look at my spreadsheet, I have a very small table of data which lists out some employee names, the departments that they work in and their extension number. I then have a little lookup value area just here, which I've set up as a data validation list so I can switch between the different employee names. And what I want to be able to do is select an employee from this list and then have Excel return the extension number for that particular employee. So let's first take a look at how we would do this using XLOOKUP in Excel. I'm going to type in XLOOKUP directly into the cell. Our first argument is the lookup value. So what value are we looking up in this table? Well, I want to look up whatever is contained within cell F4, comma. Look up array, where am I looking up this piece of information? Well, I want to look up the name in the employee name range, A5 to A15, comma. What do I want to return? Well, once it's found the name, I want it to return the extension number that corresponds to that name. So my return array is going to be the extension numbers. And that is pretty much it. There are a couple of optional arguments on the end, which we're not going to go into at the moment because we don't need to. Close the bracket, hit enter, and there you go. It's telling me that the extension number for Adam is 2343, and I can see that that is correct. Let's just make sure this works. If I select somebody else, let's take a look at Mish, 2342, and let's just do one more. Let's go for Carol. 4098, and yes, that is all correct. So I can see that my XLOOKUP is working. So this is a really, really straightforward, easy to understand formula, and it's a lot easier than working with something like index and match, which before XLOOKUP came along was pretty much your alternative option to this. So now let's jump across to Google Sheets and see how we can achieve something similar. So now I'm working in Google Sheets, I have the same data to keep things consistent, and I also have the same data validation list at the top there. Now the first thing you'll notice is if I type in XLOOKUP and open the bracket, I've got a little question mark, it's not showing me any arguments, so that tells me that XLOOKUP is not available in Google Sheets. So what options do I have if I want to do something similar? Well, it turns out you actually have quite a few, and which one you use will really depend on how you like to work and the one that you find easiest. So the first method you could use is basically index and match, which is what we used to use in Excel before XLOOKUP came along. So let's type in index and open the bracket. Now we need to provide a reference for this index, and basically you want to provide the map or the entire cell range where your answer could be located. So I'm looking for the extension number. So my reference is going to be C2 to C12, comma. The next argument required is the row. So what we need to do here is add in the match function, which is essentially gonna find the row number that we want. So we're gonna go straight in with a match and open the bracket. 
And now we're into the match function arguments. So what do I want to match? Well, I want to match whatever is in cell F2. My next argument is the range where I'm looking for this lookup value. So that's going to be the employee range A2 to A12. And then finally, I need to specify the search type. So am I doing an exact match or an approximate match? Now I want to exactly match the lookup value. So the name with the name in the employee column. So I'm doing an exact match. And in Google Sheets and Excel, to do an exact match, you either need to add false on the end, or you can add a zero on the end. Close off that match command, and then I need to close off as many brackets as I've opened, so I also need to close off my index function. So just to recap there, we are indexing the range where our answer is going to be found, C2 to C12. And then we're then telling Google Sheets to match whatever is in cell F2 in the employee column. And we want to match it exactly. Hit enter and it pulls back the number we are looking for. Let's double check to make sure that is correct. And it is. So not too much of a complex formula here. It's not as simple as XLOOKUP, but it definitely gets the job done. Let's delete all that out and take a look at the second method we could use. Now the second method we could use is good old VLOOKUP. And again, this works very similar to how you would use it in Excel. So let's type in equals VLOOKUP and open our brackets. The first thing we need to specify is the search key. So again, this is the lookup value. What are we looking up? We're looking up whatever is in cell F2, comma. Our next argument is the range. And if you're an Excel user, this is basically the table array argument. Whatever range we specify here needs to include not only the lookup value column, but also where we're likely to find our answer. So the range I'm going to specify is basically everything that we have here, the entire table of data, A2 to C12, comma. I then need to provide an index number. Now it's worth noting that when you're using VLOOKUP, both Google Sheets and Excel number columns from left to right. So in this little table of data, the employee column would be column one, department column two, extension number column three. So I need to tell Google Sheets which column my answer is located in. So for me, that is column three because I'm looking up the extension number. The final answer I need to give again is a true or false argument. So I can type false or alternatively zero on the end here. Close off the bracket, hit enter, and it pulls back the correct number. And let's just make sure that these are working. If I change this to another employee, Ben, for example, I can see that yes, it's pulling through the correct extension number. So that is method number two for doing a lookup in Google Sheets. So now let's take a look at our third option, which is using query. Now query is one of the few functions that is available in Google Sheets and not in Excel. And you can use query to perform a lookup, but bear in mind that this is a more sophisticated, more complex function, and it's not as simple as some of the examples that we've already seen. The query function, if you're not aware, enables you to write SQL queries on a Google Sheet to basically make things happen. And due to this, the way that we construct this query formula to perform a lookup is slightly different to the normal formula language that we might be used to using. So let's type in equals query and take a look at our arguments. So basically, the first thing we need to specify here is the entire range of data. So for me, that's going to be A2 to C12, comma. Next, we need to provide our query. And this is where the formula language differs slightly to what you're probably used to. What we need to do here is provide a select statement to specify the column we'd like to return, which in this case is going to be column C. And the way that this is noted down is we need to put this in quote marks. We type in select space. I'm going to say C where A equals, and this is where I input the lookup value, which is cell F2. And again, the way we input this is slightly different. It needs to go in single quotes and the cell reference needs to go in double quotes. And we essentially need to have a break in the query as we reference the cell that contains the lookup value. And the way that we specify a break is by putting in an ampersand. So I'm then going to say F2 
we need to specify another break so that lookup value cell needs to be surrounded by breaks or ampersands and then we can start closing off our quote marks first of all and then our single quotes which wraps the entire string. And then finally because we started this select statement with double quotes we need to add in another pair of double quotes to essentially close that off. Close the bracket, hit enter and there we go. And again, let's just check to make sure this is working. Let's select John and see what we get, 1265. So let's just review that formula in the formula bar. We're saying query cells A2 to C12, which is the entire data range. Select column C where A equals the lookup value. So it's going to look for John in column A and then it's going to return the equivalent from column C. And that is the notation you would use in order to complete that. As I said, a slightly more complex version and something that's not available in Excel. Let's delete this out and take a look at the final method we can use to perform a lookup. Now, in my opinion, the fastest, easiest and closest formula to XLOOKUP is the filter function in Google Sheets. So let's type in equals filter, open the bracket. And this is very, very simple. So the first thing we need to do here is enter in the range. And this is going to be the range that contains the value you'd like to return. So we want to return the extension number. So our first argument is C2 to C12, comma. Next, we need to specify our condition. So our condition is going to be A2 to A12 equals whatever is in cell F2 and close the bracket. Let's quickly review that. We're selecting the cell range that contains what we want to return, the extension number C2 to C12, and then we're specifying our condition. So we've selected A2 to A12, and we've said when that equals whatever is in F2, basically return what is in column C. Hit enter, and we get our answer. And just to keep things consistent, let's make sure that this works. Yes, I can see it does. So hopefully there you can see that despite the fact that you don't have XLOOKUP available in Google Sheets, you have a whole host of different alternatives. Index and match, VLOOKUP, query, or filter. I hope you found that useful. That is it for this video tutorial. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.